Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your Xbox to display on your PC with no capture card, and potentially you can play games or stream, depending on if you've got the bandwidth, to do this. It's quite a simple process, but once it's done once, you can do it very easily several times. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step guides on how to do this. So let's get started, and let's head over to your internet browser on your PC. So what you got to do guys is head over to the Microsoft Store and click on the Xbox Companion app or the Xbox Insider app it could be called now. But either way I'm going to leave the link in the description below. This is what you need to do. So what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and say Xbox app for Windows PC. Press download. Once that's downloaded make sure you install it onto your C drive. It's important that it's on your C drive, your main drive because it will pull some stuff from there. That it will need it will need to do to do its functionality to play the games or get it onto your screen. I found this out, and you will have error codes if you don't do it this way. Once you have downloaded the app, it will ask you to open this up, and then it'll ask you to log in. So what you're going to do is log into your Xbox account at the top left hand side of here. It'll ask you, "Mine signed in already?" So you can sign out if you're already in and sign in with your Xbox account. It has to be linked to your Xbox, otherwise it will not work for this process. So as you can see, I'm signed into my Xbox account. Once this is done, you need to head over to your Xbox next now to start the process on there. Okay, so I'm gonna head over to my Xbox and I'll just show you the second half of this process. And you've gone onto your Xbox now. Uh, make sure you are into the correct account. You can tell because it will match the PC at the top left hand side up there in the corner. Uh, make sure that it is the correct account, okay? Um, what you want to do is head over to settings. Once you head over to settings, you want to head down to devices and connections, and then it'll say remote features. You want to click and make sure this is enabled. Make sure this remote feature is enabled, otherwise you will not be able to do the next step. If you cannot do the next step, you won't be able to have it onto your PC. Please, can you also check the Xbox app preferences as well? Make sure that you allow connections from any device, otherwise it won't let you connect to this device. So these are the two things that need to be selected for this next process to work, okay? So now I'm going to head over back to the PC, and I'm going to show you how to get the, the connection to work so you can view your Xbox onto your PC. So now we're back on the Xbox app for the PC. As you can see, we're still logged into the correct account. This is so vitally important. You can click Cloud Gaming if you wish. If you want to add your controller via your PC, you can set up the settings for this here. You can connect your controller via your computer or even the controller still in the Xbox. So you're able to still have that control and functionality over the Xbox, but while it's not connected. And all you're going to do is something really simple is this little button by here, right by there. You want to click that and it'll come up saying Xbox console on. OK, it may say Xbox console standard or standby. Is check your internet connection to see if it is connected to the same internet. The, but this process has to be on the same internet connection, okay? It doesn't have to be on the same internet connection, sorry. It has to be on a internet connection, okay? After that then, if that doesn't work, make sure you have got them settings that we just spoke about previously correct and make sure they're all ticked correctly. If that doesn't work, then please go and have a look at the FAQ page to see if there's any fixes for issues like that. I haven't come across any, but please check it out. There is a pretty good FAQ section. So all you want to do now is click on the game console and it will do this process. It will start connecting it. And as you can see, it takes a little while, but there you go. Start playing remotely. So now you can see that this Xbox now is connected remotely and you can do whatever you wish. Um, I don't have no games on there, but as you can see by here, it, it works perfectly fine. You can connect on to the internet, you can play games if you'd wish, you can do whatever you would wish to do from this, from your PC. You can. This could be a good option for streaming, if you're streaming an Xbox game but do not have a capture card. This could and would help you solve that issue uh, at a very little cost, it's actually free to do. Um, but it will take a little bit more on your PC to obviously stream it record it, play off it, all on one, so be aware of this, okay? So guys, thanks for watching. If you have liked, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, much love, and don't forget, enjoy the game. Peace.